<laughs> so today we're gonna discuss a uh, super hot, fun, spicy topic. Damn. Um, the first one, since I'm always clowning you girls about like how you um, are kind of like, you always give men the stink eye when they come up to you. Like, you guys don't like the way that males choose to hit on you in a bar. I was like, hey, why don't we ask this beautiful straight man how he does it at a bar? Like, what he would do to kind of get you lady attention. You ladies attention. Ladies. <laughs> I don't know, why like, you guys put me right here? No, 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 first off, let me see the stink eye. I want to see the stink eye you give the guy. Well, I give the death stare. Like, I yeah, enjoy yeah. going what's, to funerals. What's kind the of death stare? Let me, yeah. That's the scar face. Yeah, I call that the like, scar face. Yo, ma, yeah. what up? See, because I always think like straight guys will be like, hey, ma, what's up? What's your name? What's your sign? Where are you from? I'm like, what is this, an AOL chat room? <laughs> <laughs> ASL. ASL. So I, so uh, I have coffee breath, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right, I'm waking up. What would you do? Like, or? You know what? I've never been the type of guy to like hit on a girl with a line. Like, hey, baby, are you from Tennessee because you're the only 10 I see? Yeah. Uh, hey, yeah. See, but I like that. Then you come up there and be like, oh! Curly's no, like, oh my god, shoot. Yeah. Yeah. Those, are, those are usually men who use those lines mean it with all of their heart mm. and they say it so seriously or like Or they oh or they god. think they're so clever and they're being <laughs> ironic and I can just see the wheels turning. Okay, I know I when I'm being it. funny and I can come at you funny. Uh, but if I really like you and I I can like feel your energy and vibe, I'll ignore you. I'll send you a drink at a bar and not even tell you it's from me. I can be And I'll walk away, I'll walk away and be like, I hope you enjoyed your drink. Bye. What? But then, ah! And then she's got a surgeon stop. <laughs> I know, I hope you know. I love it. Oh, oh, it, would work on it would work. I just think when it comes down to it, a women love a confident man, and you can come at them any which way, but if you have that confidence and you exude that, women are gonna be turned on automatically by that. I just don't like when a man is too overly confident, because then automatically I think, where has his peepee -pee been? Because I'm like, if this dude is that confident, That's God knows smooth. how many women he's done that to tonight. God yeah. knows how many in the month, God knows how many in the year. So I, just, I don't want a guy who's like, man, Are you, are you calculating that in there's, your head right then and there? I'm a Scorpio and I'm a Cuban <laughs> woman. I'm jealous. It's so I'm not gonna be like, mm. I'm a Pisces and I'm a man. I'm a Pisces. Are you Pisces? Yeah, oh. when is your birthday? March 1st. Oh, it's just him. Oh, first. Hell no. March 1st. <laughs> Wait, what were you gonna Wait, say? Wait, there's you a difference between confidence and like entitlement. And I feel like a lot of times, okay. I, I love a confident man. There's like, right. I love someone who knows what they're doing. But mm -hmm. there's a difference between that and someone that thinks that they like own the world and are entitled to something. Yeah. And a lot of confident yeah. dudes think they're entitled to women's attention. That's see, it. but how okay. can you tell the difference? You, a woman. Yeah, but I don't see, know. But like, it's does, does a thing. girl always know though? No, they don't. Like, I okay, don't have no, a no, crystal no, no, ball. A girl, see, like, I mean, like, they, they, they have those walls up. If it's somebody they're attracted to, that wall's coming down exactly, a little bit. Exactly, that's what it's I'm like, saying. If, if, if I came up to you and yeah, said, hey, how you doing? You'd be like, oh my God, he's, he's kind of cute. Like, what's up? Right, but no pickup line is going to change a, an immediate attraction. Like, I'm going to know, like, what from about? my first exchange with you, whether I'm attracted or not. And it doesn't depend on your pickup line. It doesn't depend on, like, the, the drink beard? you sent, or the beard, or the beer. It's like, it's just beard. an instinctual thing. Uh, I'm in love. I think, for me, it's about conversation. Like, come up, talk, let's All talk, right. let's like, oh my god, we're into the same things, like, this guy's funny, how cool. I don't want no damn pickup line. Do you think that, like, uh, men shouldn't come up to you? Like, what really is the best type for a man to get a woman's attention? Because I almost feel like, look, like, I could go, like, if I want to use it on a guy, and if I'm going to buy him a drink and ignore him, I would be like, peace, or he would be like, peace. I've never seen him again, it would never, nothing would ever come out of it, you know what I mean? Like, he wouldn't chase me out and be like, <gasps> my soulmate, like that would never happen. Never happen. So what do you think like a guy should do to maybe get a girl's attention if he does? Approach you. Yeah, approach is obviously a way to do it. And for me, like I said, is just conversation, be cool, be normal, I hate these games. A lot of the times I'll give someone the benefit of the doubt just to converse, Yeah. but then if he gets fresh and stupid, that's when I just like, so can regular conversations okay then? Okay. Yes. Okay. How awesome. did you meet your current girlfriend? Did you meet her like in a bar? Like, did you go up and say hi? We met at a club. That was like, damn, she's that, she's beautiful, and I've been with her ever since. We were dancing, and I got. That's her, a good uh, way too to like. We were have dancing. Fun. We were grooving, and uh, we just hit it off. And like a couple days later, we were carving pumpkins for Halloween, and oh. we, we got it popping. And I carved something else that night. <laughs> and, um, yeah. Take out the seeds. <laughs> yeah, I got You're making me a little jealous, actually. <laughs> really? I think we should change the joke. I'll carve pumpkins with you, Curly. Yes, uh, Daddy. Okay, yeah. Now I'm thinking about it in the dirty way. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, send us comments on what you think is an appropriate way to approach a person. Mm. You know, because I would just go up to Chewy and just 
let him have it. Would you? But, what would you tell me if you were approaching it? I'd be like, damn, daddy! And then that would be it, though. Curly just whip it out. <laughs> this has been another episode of Curly's Dating Life. Woo! <laughs> better like. Tune in next time, guys, for better like. <laughs> Go carve some pumpkins. Yay, carve some pew pew. Take the hurt and surround for me.